They say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but what if they're created in a lab? Yeah, lab-grown diamonds have many of the same characteristics as natural mined diamonds, but at a fraction of the price. So what's the big difference, and why should you choose one over the other? Nicole Livas talked to the experts about the growing lab craze and what you need to know as you shop for some bling. Brilliant, sparkly, fiery, blingy, just some words used to describe diamonds. When you're trying to pick the right gem for your loved one or yourself, the task can be daunting. Now there's another choice that's gaining steam, laboratory-grown diamonds derived from naturally mined ones. So diamonds typically occur in coal shafts. A section of the coal shaft will crystallize. Shash Kamdar is a graduate gemologist and custom jeweler at the exclusive gem in downtown Norfolk. He explains the process. Lab Diamond just gets a little seed of this and it's grown in weeks. When you say a seed, you yeah, take that... Yeah. You take that little remnant of a natural diamond and then just let it grow. Dr. Sally Magania is Senior Manager of Diamond Identification for the Gemological Institute of America, or GIA. She says lab-grown diamonds date back to the 1950s. In the early days, we were looking at uh, very small diamonds, uh, industrial size, definitely not gem quality. And those, it took many decades for it to improve. And the current popularity comes along with an eco-friendly movement, especially among the younger generation, including this local jewelry customer. So when you get a mined diamond, you need to factor in exploitation, land rights, labor rights, and what type of people are doing the work and you know where it's sourced. The physical similarities between natural and lab diamonds are stunning. Here, the dangling earrings and necklace are lab grown and the ring is natural. They both have sparkle, they both have fire, they both have that very high hardness and that durability that will last a lifetime. If you look closely at these two diamonds side by side, can you tell which is which? The natural diamond is on the right. They may look similar, but the cost is definitely different, which is a good thing, especially during inflation. Kamdar says he's seen a difference in lab diamonds from one third to one fifth of the price of a natural diamond. A one carat diamond that is top notch clarity, top notch color, that happens to be natural might cost you around $8,000. Uh, today, it might be $1,800 to $2,000 for the same thing. That savings could allow for a nicer setting for the diamond. And if you can't tell when it's that close to you, when it's loose, when you can observe it uh, with magnification, after you set it and she's wearing it, you know you're not going to be able to see anything whatsoever. Both experts agree you should get a grading certificate for whichever type of diamond you choose because that is what's going to separate it from the natural world to the lab world. And insurance companies, certificates from the labs are all recognized accordingly. It's listed very distinctively that it is a laboratory grown diamond, but we are using the same grading scales. Nicole Livis, 13 News Now. The experts told Nicole lab diamonds can be set and reset just like natural diamonds, but some colored diamonds cannot be created in labs. So just keep that in mind. There you go.